I know I haven't posted a video in a while and uh, you know, my bad. I've had a lot going on and I will cover that in a very soon video. But uh, we have an issue and I'd like to resolve it with you guys. So I don't know how many of you guys have this uh, Ryobi set. You know, I got, the, I got two batteries. I got the drill and I got a hammer drill. I've had these batteries for, probably had these batteries for about two years, but you know, I don't, I don't use them that often, but neither one of them holds a full charge anymore. I don't know if you guys can see three battery bars there. This one only goes to two. So, so, and that's even, this one even only goes to two after charging. So what I'm going to do, uh, Watched a couple videos online, I'd like to walk you through this very simply. So these Ryobi batteries have a safety feature. When they get too low, they won't charge, so you don't blow them up. But um, yeah, I don't really care about that. I'm gonna fix this battery using my battery tender that I use for the car, or this other battery, whichever one. I'm gonna probably try with the battery first and see if that works. And then we'll try the battery tender, see if that works. We'll see. We'll see which one works better. But both of them are gonna get surgery. I'm pop this on the charger, make sure it says it's fully charged. We'll check to make sure that it's still at two bars. Then we're going to take these screws out and uh, attach. Then we're going to attach positive and negative leads to it for just 30 seconds. That should power it up just enough to get a full charge. We're going to try it out, see if it works. So this is my charging station. You can see. All right. So as you can see, it says it's currently charged. It's doing this one, fading in and out. This one should be, this one should be blinking, but it's not. Let's try the other battery. Yeah, so they're both in energy save mode. All right. All right, let's pull out the multimeter and see what this one says. All right. Whew. So she's showing seven volts. Let's go grab the other one. It's about this one. Seven point six. Seven point three. All right. So we're going to open this guy up. We're going to do this one first. And hopefully we don't blow ourselves up. So you're going to have to dig this out. I didn't know if I had to or not, but there was a little piece of plastic there. Alrighty guys. So, this is the ground. Over here's a positive. I'm going to strip a wire real quick. Get that ready to go. See, that's what's supposed to happen. There we go. I don't like how much ticking it's doing, but it's at least doing something. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, it did work. Uh, you just have to hold it on there a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but worked for me, so. Don't throw out those old Royobi batteries. Uh, I'm not sure if this works for other brands, but it, I don't see why it wouldn't if they're doing the same thing. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate every single one of you clicking on this video. I hope it can help you out. Make sure to subscribe because uh, I'm finishing up these cars and I'm ready to get on the street and blow them up. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Mm -hmm.